This morning, we are joined by two incredibly talented actors who are teaming up in a new series. We, of course, all know Andrew Garfield for playing the web slinger Spider-Man, also nominated for an Academy Award this year for his role in Tick, Tick, Boom. Ah, yes, and Daisy Edgar-Jones first caught our eye, and I love it so much, the romantic drama series Normal People. Now... They both star in a grisly new true crime show. It's called Under the Banner of Heaven. Andrew plays a fictional detective named Jeb Pyre, a Mormon who has his faith challenged after the, the real-life murder of Daisy's character, Brenda Lafferty. If you've turned your back on Heavenly Father, I'm confident the forensics will have proved your guilt by tomorrow morning. I knelt with her in the temple. I brought her to church with my family. You look at these as signs of innocence, but they aren't. Did you break your covenant? So she threatened to leave you? Is that what happened? I can imagine the fights. That why you killed her? Oh. Very rarely do we Andrew you get Daisy. three. Oh. Mm. Like that might be a first in the third hour of history that you got three. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. I mean, so true crime is a huge genre mm. right now. Um, have you always been fans of, of the drama, of, of the genre? I love true crime. I do, too. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a really compelling thing. It's become, weirdly, a, a kind of comfort genre for people, I think, during the pandemic. Weirdly. I don't know mm. what that is. Maybe because I haven't... Well, I have no idea, but I find it kind of fascinating. But this story particularly is is quite um, a, a vital one because it is a true crime story. Um, and the, the character that Daisy plays, it's, you know, a, a horrible thing that she goes through with her daughter. And... The, the, the intention with this was really to tell a story that's really compelling, but also to honor, you know, Brenda Lafferty and her and her daughter, Erica. It's interesting because, you know, crime aside, the show takes place across two separate timelines, right, if you will. So you have no scenes together, um, but you have such chemistry. How did you guys build that connection? How do we how do we find a thing to do together? Oh, that's I know, my like, question. I know, I know we need to. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was interesting because obviously we were filming in Calgary for about five years months but we never had any scenes together and it's mm. always fun when you're in something and there's so much of it that you're not involved in that you can watch it with fresh eyes as a viewer so I, i'm like so excited to see the scenes that yeah. i wasn't we in. heard there were dance parties involved oh yeah we had games really games. daisy gets it going yeah <laughs> <laughs> daisy I gets am, down. i'm dressed for a disco right it's now it's probably <laughs> helpful because this, this, the content can be i'm sure heavy yeah so to have a dance party i'm sure it was probably helpful yeah you do Definitely. need to find balance yeah I mean, it was a strange thing and we, we i've never had that on a show before usually i'm very kind of immersed in the thing and kind of i like taking my work home in a way but because yeah. it enhances my life. But with this, I think all of us, we, we were in the trenches together and yeah. we had to have a lot of gallows humor. We had to dance a lot. We had to have, play board games. We had to go on hikes. We had to remind to ourselves. Yeah, in order to go, be able to dive back into the material yeah. the next day, I think. I mean, your, your character, again, it's a fictional one, but it's yeah. based on this true story, a book, 2003, by John Krakauer. As you know, at the time, there was some controversy surrounding how the church was portrayed in this particular book. Did that affect how you prepared for the role at all or no? I think we wanted to be really sensitive and luckily the person who adapted the book from the great Krakauer, um, Krakauer book is Dustin Lance Black who is an ex-Mormon himself and he's, he's, he was our showrunner and our director and our writer and he has a real um, affinity with the church still even though he left the church a, a bunch of years ago so he has a real kind of kindness and a warmth and a connection to the Mormon church while also doing that really hard and important work of shedding light into the nooks and crannies of an organization that maybe hasn't seen seen light in a while and to tell the truth about this organization. And I think the truth can only be a good thing mm -hmm. to, to, to bring to light and the truth will always out. And I think Dustin Lance Black has done a kind of amazing, amazing job yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, of, of truths, uh, Andrew, you were, you were here recently uh, just before the Spider-Man movie, the latest Spider-Man movie came out, and to, you, it was so wonderful seeing you and Toby. Really I don't know what you're talking about. I'm well, not I'm just, in that movie. Well, uh, I'm not. Well, 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 you, you talked with Hoda and Savannah, okay, and, and here's what you had to say. Oh, dear. <laughs> we do have to ask you about Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Everybody's you know saying, have to. Everybody's saying there, you may be in it. There's a I listen, I, I, I'm not in the film. <laughs> It is kind of shocking to witness you how just, good I am at that. You're you, such a good actor. You just talked about truth. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That's why I, I brought I, that up. Andrew Garfield is a liar? The truth always it comes out, and it, here we are. That's so are. funny. It, it's, it's always, yeah. So I ask this next question, uh -oh. knowing oh, after just watching this video, would there be any scenario where uh, Andrew Garfield is in another spider suit or in some part of the Marvel Universe? See, my arms just 
just crossed yeah, they by do the that. media. <laughs> they just that means really yes. Okay, so move on. Exactly. I'm watching your yes. nose. I'm a really bad poker player, <laughs> believe so it funny. or not. <laughs> but, but, like, no matter what I say at this point, I am a known liar. So, like, it's, it's over for me. Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's, there's nothing I can say that can... <laughs> You know, I'm not going to satisfy you, Al. It's done. It's (laughs) over. You always satisfy. I know. Wait, before you guys leave us this morning, Daisy, I don't know if you saw our show earlier this morning. We talked about the fact that The Crown is looking for an actress to play uh, Duchess Kate Middleton. And so I don't know Mm -hmm. if you've seen it, but all over Twitter, people are weighing in. And so many people think that you should be Kate Middleton in The Crown. Oh, my gosh. That's the first I've heard of that. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. People love you. That's cool. What what do you think? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Well, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say no. Oh, dear. <laughs> Would it help? You just committed to the She did on national television. Would it help if Andrew wore a kind of a baldish wig as <laughs> Prince William? Hey. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to bring up his balding. Just like it's just it's an affinity thing. You just want to like. Oh, yeah, really quickly. Where the where the Cardats say? Mm. How, how, mm. what's, what can you tell us? Well, where? yes. I mean, it's, so it's coming out in July, yes. and um and yeah, I really hope that that fans of the book will be will be um, happy with it and our adaptation. I think we've done a really good job of honoring honoring it. So yeah, I'm really excited for people to see it. Okay. Are You're you going great. to be in the, in the next Spider-Man movie? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I sense a theme. That's good. That's good. You guys are a delight. You guys too. Thanks Great. for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Andrew Daisy, thanks to both of you. FX is Under the Banner of Heaven premieres tomorrow, April 28th, exclusively on Hulu. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.